Well, you know how I like to say it. What is going on, YouTube? Ed here with TGH, and of course, I have next to me the amazing. I, I didn't even hear her. That's Cassis Critters, guys. Just so you know, we're here. We're trying to have some fun. So today, we're going to talk about something that I think is pretty amazing. A lot of people talk about popping. They're snakes to find out if they have a male or a female. But what if you could do this and use a probe? So today, we're going to go jump into that. Join us. I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be fun. I'm going to have a blast. I hope you're going to have a blast. I will. Let's get right into it. So probing is one of these things where if you don't know how to do it, it could be very intimidating. Yeah. So if it is something you don't know how to do, this is meant to be a tutorial. Here on TGH, yes, we're going to do a tutorial. So take a look. We're going to go ahead and show you some stuff. We're going to break it down. And you know what? We're going to be doing it here live. So if you guys have any questions... Feel free to hit us up on the intermission periods in between, you know, the video clips. So we're going to get started right now, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Just keep in mind, this is how Cass and I are taking care of probing here with our animals. 
We're going to show you. This is the way we do it. There are tons of different ways. This is our tutorial, the way we do it here. So, and the only thing that's really important is that it is something that we do safely and responsibly and we don't overdo and we don't do it with the incorrect tools on the incorrect sizes and the incorrect animals. So as long as we're doing it safely and it's not harming our animals, that's really all that matters. Exactly. So be safe. And this is the way we do it to make sure we are safe and we try to do it as sanitary as possible. Exactly. Let's jump right into it. So what's going down right here? She's really digging in there, and uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. So right now, we went ahead and we talked about the cleaning. We're gonna take a little break right here, right now, and give you guys uh, an opportunity to, I mean, at least ask us if there's any questions on what we could do or what type of differences we could do when it comes to cleaning the tool. Because that was the first step. Right now, was make sure you have a probing kit, and then. <laughs> Clean it vigorously. We yeah. used alcohol and a paper towel there. Does anyone here have any opportunities or any other ideas on what we should do there? Hmm. Yeah, and they are around 20 bucks. And again, I'm here. I'm taking a look at... Oh, psh, smack that. I'm taking a look at the, the uh, live here as well. I use F10 cleaner. Okay, that's a great idea. That's a very, very, very good uh, solution right there. Let me see. And the yeah, and we have chlorhexidine. That's yeah, that's the you know the good stuff we use there. And then she uses the alcohol as well. Um, let me see. My phone sucks. No, bro, don't worry. It's probably us. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's also another thing you could do. Yeah, definitely, you could definitely do that as well. Um, and so basically, you just want to make sure you have sanitary tools all right so let's jump into the next uh thing here maybe Cass will share something no she ate all of the chips without me and she did it on a live how amazing instead of actually hanging out know. here she's eating chips all right let's jump in here what is the next step let's take a look and that would be all right Oh, we're just cleaning the workspace, that's it? What are you doing? Just wiping the area down? That's it? Yeah, basically. All you did was wipe the space, like, just, like, wiped it down. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't any mess on the space. Okay, fine. <laughs> so wipe your workspace down. All right, let's go ahead and, uh... I mean, what do you guys use to, for your workspaces? Go ahead and talk about that. We're here on a live. Again, if you're watching this later, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. Um, you know, this is what we're about. We're a community. We're like-minded people. And what we like to do is vibe, showcase amazing people, network amongst ourselves. <laughs> Vern gets it. What's that? If you haven't used an autoclave, that's what I said. Yes, an autoclave. Yes, but I didn't know what an autoclave was and I didn't know if you know most people can afford those type of things and you know what that's great and that's why we do these things we network we come together this is how we do this in our community here if you want to come together and you want to network with someone you can do that and you know how I like to do that email time oh yes 
You may have done it before. Go ahead and do it again. Go ahead and put your email out there. Give someone an opportunity to go ahead and network with you because you may have the information that someone else out there needs. They can be a resource for you or you could be a resource for them. You can give them information that you have that they could desperately, desperately use. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get out there. Let's go show that love. I'm looking at people right now. Let's look at South Sound Snakes putting that email out there. That's amazing. Munson Burner is in the house right here. I'm telling you right now, you guys, you gals, you dinosaurs, you aliens, you reptilians alike, you guys are what it's really about. That's what's good. Aqua Balls dropping that email right now. That's amazing. And you know what? That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to continue to do it. And that's the way that goes. Much love to you guys. I really, 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 truly appreciate that. It means a lot to me. It really does that. Let me see. I'm going to try to do something right now. I'm looking at this chat, and I want you guys to see what I see. So there you go. There you go. I had to fix that a little bit. I had to do a little something right there. That way, when you guys are talking, you can see what you guys are saying on the screen because it's a little weird when you can't. Right, Cass? Like, it's awkward. It's yeah. awkward when you're, like, you're trying to chat with your homies. Right. And, and everyone's talking and you're like, what? What do you say? I don't know what he said. Did he say something cool? I don't know if he said something cool. So <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to fix that. I'm set that right there. Okay. Shabam. Hopefully that helps out. Yeah. All right. Boom. There you What's go. Up? Okay. So what was the next step? All right. So we went ahead. Step one. And again, let's just go ahead and recap. Step one was cleaning, right? So you want to sanitize the area. That's all fine and dandy. And then what was step two again? Step two was so just wiping the space down, making sure you have a clean workspace. And then step three. Ooh, cool. What are we doing? Are we like barbecuing or oh, no, shish kebabs no. or what? You said prepare. No, not. What? I'm confused. I thought we were going to prepare it. Okay, so I'm looking at a ball python here. What does that ball python want to do? Okay, so he doesn't want to be probed. All right, so we're going to find out if it is a boy or a girl right now. Let's go ahead and jump in there. I mean, what do you guys think? Boy, girl? Hmm, very, very interesting. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure this out myself. I'm jumping back in here. Let's see. I'm jumping back into the chat right now. Hmm. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. I'm seeing some stuff. All right. It's digging in there. I mean, for just a second, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off this chat box just so I can see what's going on. Oh, wow. That's, you're digging in there. All right. All right. So right there. Yeah. The depth. I was going to say you, you really got in there. Okay. I'm going to play that again, guys, gals, aliens, or tons of like, we're going to do this step again. Um, I'm going to play it one more time because I think this is very important and I'd like you to really break this down. Okay. Barbecue. And it is what we do. We know it. All right, here we go, guys. So the community, we're about coming together, having fun, but it's also about educating yeah. each other. So right now, this is our version of educating our friends in the community, or at least contributing to the education of this amazing hobby. So I'd really like you guys to go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. And I see you're bending the tail back. Uh, how far are you bending back? Do you feel a certain amount of tension? I like how you show the side view. Uh, wow. Uh huh. Yeah. And then? So basically, his muscles right here were really tense, and I just pushed them while trying to keep comfort. Uh, as weird as that sounds, it did not hurt him in any way. He was perfectly a okay. But he was very tense because obviously he does not want to have a probe in the rear end. That is not very comfortable, I'm sure. Obviously, by his antiness. Right. Okay, so you shoved that probe in there. Yeah. And it went pretty deep in there. How, yep. how far in would you say it went? That probably went around eight scales. 
Okay, so it went in there really deep. And so what I would say is it went down there really deep because a male has more space in there for his extra equipment. We're talking about his hemipenes, and those things are his penises that he uses to impregnate a female ball python. So now that you know that, and we've gone through step one, cleaning your equipment. We've gone through step two. Prepping your work, <laughs> prepping your workspace. We've gone through step three, which was getting your amazing ball python or snake out. And there are some species that you cannot probe. This is for ball pythons. What other species can you do this with? A boa? Yeah, you can do this with boas, butter pythons, sexy pythons, awesome. carpet pythons, white pythons, nice. stuff like that. Okay, so and then it's begin. If it does, if it has a small pocket, like it goes in just a little bit, it's a female. And if it has a large pocket that and it goes in a good ways, that's a male. How many scales would you say going in would be a female? Okay, so it barely goes in a few scales, two to three. That's a female. Yeah, and that, that and you don't want to push too hard either, because see right here, I was like, oh, this is definitely a girl, right? So, and then I was like, oh, no, oh, that's it. You can't even get it in there. That's a, that's a girl. That, mm-hmm. And then I was like, whoa, wait, 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 and then it began to happen. And then I was like, whoa. Look at that, see how she shows on the nail? That that was way in there, and that indicates male. So there you have it. So if the probe goes in a certain amount of scales, and it's only like one or two scales, maybe three scales, you're looking at a female. But if it goes in more, then you're gonna be looking at a male. All right, so then there goes step three. What is step four and what do you guys think you know let's not jump to step four yet hold on and again if you're new here we we're all over the place hopefully you're able to keep up and we'll recap again step three was the actual probing did that work for you do you guys understand did that make any sense going in x amount which is two to three scales in you're looking at a female but if you go any more than that, we're talking four to five to eight scales deep. You're looking at what? Five to eight, you're looking at a what? That's right. So now that you guys know that, uh, does that make sense? And do we need to go ahead and explain a little more? It says, I. It, it's bad to pop my mature. Is it? bad to pop my mature snakes no i don't think it is i don't think it is um it may be a bit frustrating yeah it might be a little frustrating for you but it's doable and there's definitely those people that can do that and stay tuned we'll definitely do one of those videos this is our opportunity to spread that good nature out there justin ward's in the house we got jay's crazy obsessions in the house we got one soft kiss in the house herpers hollow road gotta love carpet python south sound snakes cast is cra- wait cast- Hi. Wait. What's up? Yeah, I'm, on, I'm on my phone. Hi. What are you Hello. doing? Anyways, you guys are amazing. You guys are epic. I appreciate you being part of our community, <laughs> being the type of people that spread positivity. Hashtag positivity. Wait a minute. Before we do number four. Before we do number four, I think it's that time. Do you think it's that time? I do. I think it's that time. Go ahead. Do me a Day to day, I want a genetic kind of some less just a love for the colors and the bays in the man cave. Be brave, surround the right side. Genetic kind of the right. Now I'm talking right, 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 right now. Go ahead, put out that hashtag. Let me go ahead and tell everyone to go over there and show you some love. Yes, we're talking about you. Those amazing people, go out there, drop that hashtag. Give us an opportunity to show everyone how epic. You really are. That's what it's about. We're about that hashtag positivity movement here. We like to give everyone an opportunity to go out there and do something epic with themselves. Remember, the person you were yesterday, well, that person is gone. And the person you are today is working on the best version of yourself for tomorrow. And we do that by working hard. We do that by pushing. And that's what it's all about. Ed and Cass, go ahead and put that out there. 
Uh, oh, yeah, because she's got this beautiful snake out there. Oh, my God. And you know what? She got that snake over here from TGH. We got that beautiful snake. We got her from Corporal Soto, and we made sure to keep her nice and happy. And when our friend wanted to have an amazing snake, we definitely gave her that chance, and boom, that's what's good. You want to get out there and be part of those, oh, yeah, reptile auction house events. Those things are epic. So back to what we were doing, because we're recapping again, because we're terrible and we're all over the place. Let's do this one more time. Step one is clean your equipment, right? Step two would be prepare your workspace, guys. Make sure your workspace is prepared. Then we're going to go out there and do it again. And step three is you're going to get your snake. You're going to do it nice and calm. You're going to make sure your snake's not, you know, in, in, a, in a mood where it's like leave me alone and completely flighty. Let's go ahead and get that uh, snake a chance to relax. And then you're going to go ahead. You're going to get the probe. You're going to pull that tail. Okay. You're going to give yourself a little bit of distance away from the mass of the body. Okay. You're going to go ahead and you're going to tilt it back. You're going to bend it. The opposite way, of course, from the belly. And then you're gonna give just enough tension. When you feel just enough tension, just enough pressure, that's when you're gonna go ahead and begin to, to get in there to the coagal area and splice between those two different uh, uh, scales right there. And you're gonna slide in there, okay, guys? You're gonna slide it in there. This is the main important part. And you're gonna get inside there. Don't try to force it in, guys. Get it past this little coagal area. You're gonna slide in there. And if it only goes in two to three scales, you have a female. If it goes past that, it goes in deep like this all the way in there. I mean, we're talking, what was that, like six, seven, eight scales? I mean, it's way, it's way in there. That is an indication that you have a male. And the reason why is because that male has hemipenes that need to fill up that space there. So now we're moving on to step number four, and guess what? This is what you need to do. You're gonna go ahead and get your amazing snake and put it back in its tub. And then what do you do from there? in the background music you guys got music in the background holy snaps let me go ahead and put the music down i hope that helps you guys there i think so all right so there you go i mean what i'd like to do is go ahead and put you guys on notice (laughs) welcome jay yeah no problem dude that's amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this one more time. If you've been uh, hanging in there to the end, we're going to go ahead and recap one more time for you. Yeah, I'm just speaking now. Yay, I'm glad. Nice. That's the music was way loud. I'm sorry. I'm hit the like button. Oh, now that we turn the music down. Yay. That is hilarious. They like us. 
<laughs> I didn't know it was still going. I hey, where swung. is Nightbot? What? Bro, he's... Yeah. I don't know. Nightbot gave up and quit, I think. Ew. I think Nightbot quit. It I'm happens. up on us. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you now. Yay! All right, all right, all right. You guys are epic. <laughs> so, then this was our test. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do this exact same video again without a live audience and put it <laughs> out there for the world. Um, here's a quick recap for you guys. Don't forget, you're going to want to go ahead and sanitize your equipment. You sanitize this stuff. You use a paper towel alcohol. Very, very simple uh, probing kit. And then we're going to jump into step two. Step two. Step two, we prepare the workspace. Ah, prepare the workspace. So basically, we just clean it off, brush it off, make sure there's nothing in the way that the animal could be tangled in or could get dirty or could just get the animal sick. Nice. Okay, yeah. okay. Interesting, interesting. So... We went ahead and we cleaned the workspace, right? Which was preparing yep. that, which was her wiping, you know, yep. the area that was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. uh, we made sure to, well, first we cleaned our equipment. We cleaned our workspace, which is preparing our workspace. And then now we're going to go ahead and do something uh, <laughs> spooky, all right? Spooky. Yeah. All right. And then I forgot all these video clips had audio, uh, you know, music. So terribly sorry for that, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible. Um... Here you're gonna make sure that your ball python, your snake, is comfortable. You're gonna pull the rear end away from the mass of the body. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna tilt the end of the tail the opposite way of the belly, obviously. You're gonna show the coagle. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get your tool, which is your probing tool, and you're going to insert it into the coagle area. Go ahead and gently separate those two scales there. Get your probe inside. And once you get inside, if you're getting about one, two, three scales in, you're looking at a female. That's going to be a female because there is no space there for hemipenes. If it's getting in there that deep like you're looking right now, you're looking at a male. And that male is, is for sure male because there's space in these hemipenes right now in, this, in that quickle area for hemipenes, okay guys? So as a recap, a few scales in, only two, three, four scales in, you're looking at a female. If you go in deeper than that and you're looking at, you know, seven, eight scales in, six scales in, guys, gals, reptilians, dinosaurs, you know, friends and family alike, I'm telling you right now, what you have is... A male, if it's going in that deep, few scales in, you have a female. More scales in, you have a male. Yep. All right, so you've done that. What's your final step? I mean, you've gone ahead and you've done all these things. You've done step one again. Step one was you cleaned everything. You went ahead, you did step two. You prepped your workspace. You made sure to do that by wiping it all down. Then you went ahead and you grabbed your snake, you got it ready, and again, we'll walk you through it one more time because that's what this whole video is about. You figuring out how to probe your snake. Make sure your snake's comfortable. Go ahead and pull the tail away from the body. You're gonna make sure you bend your snake back from its belly. You're gonna make sure that it's tense enough for you to 
get into the Kuwaiko area. You're gonna separate those scales. If you only fit in two, three, four scales, guess what? You got a female. But if you go in more than that, you get in five, six, seven, eight, whatever, you've got a male and it's got more space in there for the hemipenes. That's the simple truth there. You jump in and now you got step four. What's step four, Cass? What do you gotta do next? Push the snake away and then cleaning up after yourself. So cleaning the tools that you use and cleaning up any mess the snake may have made on the what's up i mean why not let's enjoy it that's what it's all about right all right oh no what what are we doing a baby girl now yeah i dig it i dig it wow she's really getting big now and what kind of reticulated python is it here let me jump on the way and give me some some time here amara is a white face albino reticulated python she is a super pretty girl. We're working with her. I'm raising her the same way that I'm raising Mercury or that I did raise him. So she should be sweet as can be as well. Awesome. So again, guys, remember what we like to do is to come together and do positive things. We like to give everyone in our community an opportunity to network. That's what this place is. That's what we are all about. So again, remember... What you guys do in this community is something epic, and we appreciate it. We really like to see what can come from networking and bringing other people into this industry, into this hobby, into this lifestyle. We can do that by coming together. We can do that by being positive. We can do that by not allowing people to be <laughs> negative. Oh, yeah, I need yeah. to do something like that. Well... I haven't been going live for a while, guys. I've been trying to like take it easy there, doing that. Um, but what I'd like to say is our commu community as a whole has done so much good. We've done charitable events. We have done auctions. We have done networking beyond belief. There are many people here that have actually been able to come together and do some epic things because of uh, we got – uh, Lorga's from uh, uh, Russia over there, right? And he's yeah. kicking But What an amazing thing. Being able to bring so many people together, doing fun things. That's what it's all about. And, I mean, having these epic, epic snakes. Okay, so you're winning right now. You got Amara out. I'm going to go ahead and get somebody cool out myself. Yeah. So, uh, you guys, hold tight. Sit still, ahead. guys. Sit still. So she's a pretty little snake, right? Yeah, she's gorgeous. But I got a pretty little snake too. <laughs> so here's my retic. 
Um, obviously, it's a Super Tiger right here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do exactly what South Sound Snake just said right there. Let's support each other. Let's do the epic things like having a real community. So let's go ahead and network with each other, guys. Let's go ahead and do it again. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, we do. But he no. said no. So no. All right, guys, so let's go no. ahead and do it again. It's I would be humble to see all of you guys come together. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm glad to get out there. I'm really stoked. I'm really happy to know our community can do this for one another. Holy snaps. Holy but Jesus. Yes, we're hanging. Yes, we're chilling. Hey guys, give uh who's Brandon? Brayden. Brayden, oops, we're talking to Aquaballs? Yeah. Dude, Brayden is amazing right now. Sparkling you know what, where's my picture? Okay, I got pictures of Brayden and his brothers in my closet right now. I'm telling you guys, that's what it's all about. Having community members come together, do things like spending time because we're all like a family. Dude. <laughs> So, major shout out to Brayden over there hanging out at the Aqua Balls headquarters. Oh, yeah. That is up. We're chilling with Retix. Mm -hmm. Chilling with Retix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, anyways, I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I don't know how many thumbs up are on this video right now, but I hope there's a bunch. I hope there's a ton of thumbs up because I know that count. Look. look, look. My retake just took my hand. Hello, guys. I think that counter is broken. Why is there only three thumbs up? Something's wrong what? with this. That counter has got to be broken, guys. Come on, 12 people, three thumbs up. Come on. All right. So anyways, there you have it. I'll definitely make sure to put out some more content. Let me know what you guys think about this new format. I think it's pretty cool, and it gives us all an opportunity to chill and say what's up. Alrighty, do you want to say anything to everybody out there in the YouTube land or the tube of the youths? <laughs> the tube of the youths. I think I'm good, tube of the youths. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put that beautiful girl away. She's having way too much fun. Oh, yeah. Sneaky kisses. You guys go ahead and chill, relax. Go ahead and chat with one another. We will be, we'll be right back.
everybody out there on YouTube. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate you guys coming on in here. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do this final recap for you guys. Let's go ahead. Step one, that's going to be making sure you clean your probes. You're going to make sure you clean them very well. Then you're going to go ahead and step two. You're going to prep your workspace. You're going to do that. Make sure your area is clean so you can get right to it. That's going to be pretty cool because you know what? That's what you need to do. Make sure everything's organized before you get going. Then you got step three. Step three is going to go ahead and get in there. Grab your stank. Get your stank ready and actually go through the probing process. Go ahead and rewind if you haven't seen that already. We've broken it down numerous times yeah. on this video so you guys will be able to see how to do that. All right. Then you got step four. Step four is making sure to put your meat away. Make sure your steak is nice and calm. Go ahead and begin the cleaning process. You're going to do that cleaning process. It's very important to go ahead and do that. What you're going to get a chance to do in that cleaning process is make sure that you have a what's up there you guys are amazing you know what i appreciate you i really really i'm so blessed so we will continue to make amazing things go on back here in this world of the youtubes so keep active <laughs> the tube <U's. laughs> keep, keep active guys gals i mean i really think it's one of those things that's amazing and you know what vibe chill network this is what's going to make our community great there is another generation right behind us that wants to thrive and they want to enjoy and we can lay the groundwork for them by being positive by spreading that movement out there don't forget stay tuned every day until the nominations are done we're putting out that Positivity Movement Award. Hashtag Positivity Movement Award is one of the biggest things that we're doing right now. And we're extremely happy about it. We're extremely amped about it. Stay tuned daily on Instagram and here on YouTube. Because guess what? Next time, it might just be you. All right. As always, much love. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.